Good day, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our daily devotion for today, Thursday, November the 12th, comes to us from the Gospel of Matthew, the 25th chapter, verses 14 to 30. For it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things, and I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave! You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow, and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, Throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Most of us really want to be faithful with our money. It's not that we set out to cut God out of our financial lives. Often it's the what-ifs that catch us. The third servant was consumed with the what-ifs. What if his investment didn't return like expected? What if the banks went under and the money was lost? What if the master is not to be trusted? For us, what if the car breaks down? What if we break our leg and can't work? What if we lose our job? What if? There once was a, a commercial that suggested that you can take the if out of life. That was their slogan. We can take the if out of life. What a joke. Life is made up of ifs bad and good, that give us the chance to rely on 
God? Where will our hearts be found? Bound up in fear by the ifs? Or relying, even if shakily, on the sure mercy of God? Let us pray. God of hope, we are deeply grateful that our salvation does not rest on our own ability to do things right. When the ifs come along, help us be faithful. When the ifs win, quiet our fears and save us again. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day, and I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.